For thousands of years, these gigantic and enigmatic creations have been sitting in plain sight at Nazca unnoticed. Ancient inhabitants lived here, settled here, farmed the area, and had no idea that what they were surrounded by was ancient calling cards. Symbols that were trying to signal something that we can't logically explain today. The Nazca lines were only discovered with the innovation of flight. They can only be seen from a great height and they are massive, designed to be noticed from the sky and possibly space. Now, what if we were to tell you that on the tops of the mountains surrounding these things, there are massive flattened areas that look spookily like runways, as if the ancient visitors, or better yet, ancient occupants were landing at this site in ancient flying machines. To create a runway in modern times is one thing. To excavate a mountaintop and build one there is impossible by today's standards. Yet, this appears to have happened in the ancient past. And get this, billions of tons of rock is missing from where this was built. Nowhere in the surrounding area is there a big pile of rock that was taken from this site, meaning it must have been evaporated turned to dust-like substance and evenly redistributed across the land. The undertaking involved to make these mountaintops flat would have been epic. Either that or there was some sort of machine used, perhaps one in the same that was used at the Kalasa temple. Of course, it is known to Hindus that their ancestors had the capabilities of flight. The question is, however, were these flying machines invented somewhere else and brought to the earth? If you consider the Sumerian stories from deciphered cuneiform tablets regarding the Anunnaki coming to the earth and mining earth for gold, then make the connection to the mountaintops at Nazca and the mind-boggling undertaking that would have been involved, then those stories that are classed as myth simply because they are beyond anything we imagine to ever have been true actually start to make sense. They certainly never formed naturally, so the simple fact is that at some point in history, Something happened on a colossal scale to create this mind-numbing feature in the landscape. We are told that ancient Earth inhabitants created these features in Nazca. We accept that, but the question is, why did they create them? Were they trying to tell the beings who created the runways to come back? These are interesting anomalies, all right, and there is no widespread agreement as to what exactly was going on here in the distant past. One thing is for sure, and that being that we don't know what happened. We can't explain it, but in the back of our minds, we must know that whatever created these runways left the Earth and possible are yet to return. Think of it this way. The lines were meant to be seen from the sky, and there are what looks like runways and landing strips surrounding them. Isn't it obvious? We will leave it at that for the moment, guys. We would appreciate you subscribe our backup channel and also pledge what you can on Patreon. Any support is greatly appreciated. Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.